Okay, so here's everything that I got cut for the uh, tool cabinet today. Um, I've got four shelves and one vertical divider. Um, these will be the top and bottom of the case. These will be the case sides. These will be the sides of the doors, top and bottoms of the doors. And this is the back panel. Um, I still have to get some half inch plywood and make the fronts of the doors and the cleat that's going to go in the back. Um, don't have that right now so I just went in and cut all this up. All this came from a single sheet so um, this is three quarter inch Baltic birch ply. Um, real pretty stuff. Um, should be nice. I didn't want to use hardwood just because it would be really expensive. I believe this was $50 for a sheet, somewhere around there, so uh, pretty good stuff. So I'll get a sheet of half inch, probably won't buy a full sheet because I don't think I'll need it, but um, get some half inch and make the rest of the stuff that I need. So that concludes day one.
everything out. Um, so these are going to be the doors, of course, and I'll have all this space in here. Um, I like this over here. I want to have hammers, chisels, and other um, chisel type tools, carving tools, that kind of thing. So I'll have those over here in this door. This door, um, I wanted to have my marking, measuring, um, all that kind of stuff. And saws, right now I only have this one saw. Um, I'll get some others as time goes on. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do this how I have it right now. Um, this is kind of a lot of wasted space here, just having these saws. So I'm trying to decide if I would want to um, make basically another door here that could fold out and um, have the saws a little more elevated. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. So I did some stuff um, that I did not film. I was over at my parents' house and um, did a couple things for the tool cabinet. I didn't have my camera with me, so I just wanted to kind of talk real quick about what I've done. Um, so I wanted to make some kind of little face frame to go on the edges of the plywood here, just because I don't really like how the uh, plywood edges look. So I had some quarter sawn sycamore. Um, left over from whenever I made that tea and coffee station. You can go watch that video if you want to see that. Um, so I had some left over, and so I thought that would make a um, pretty cool little face frame. Um, I wanted something that was light in color, so this was perfect. So I cut up some of these strips. Um, I'm not sure how thick they are. They're probably... Um, oh, this is so not the right tool for the job, but... Uh, so it looks like they're about, they're just over an eighth inch thick, so um, so I cut a bunch of those that I'll make for the face frames here. And those are just going to get pin nailed um, on here with some glue. So I did that. Um, I also cut up some uh, drawer fronts that I will use for the four drawers that are inside the tool cabinet. Those are from Cherry. And those are cut um, to roughly a quarter inch thick. Um, that should be good enough. I'll just glue these on the front of some plywood. Um, and they shouldn't move too much. I'm not too terribly worried about that. Um, and if they do, whatever. We'll figure it out. It'll be a good experiment to see if it moves that much. Um, so I got all those. Got four of them, of course. And I just got them taped together, so hopefully they don't move too much. They stay nice and flat. And um, I set my number six and my number four hand plane on them um, over on the joiner to keep them flat. Um, so I did that, and then I also cut some uh, oak, and I got as close to uh, quarter sawn as I could from the oak that I had. Um, and these are going to be the runners for the drawers. So these will get. Uh, screwed into the sides on the inside of the, the cabinet and then I will put a rabbit or I guess a, a dado on the sides of the drawers and those will just ride on these runners here. Um, I've never done that before but it's pretty common practice for drawers so uh, we're going to give that a shot. So that is, uh, that is what I've done. So we're going to jump right back into it. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm putting some milk paint on the uh, center panel of these cabinets. I thought about um, just putting some darker oil on them to kind of offset them from the rest, but I wanted to do something a little different. So I got some Federal Blue milk paint, and um, it's real easy. You just mix it up with water. Stir it for a few minutes and let it sit for a bit um, and just brush it on like normal paint. Um, comes as a powder so you just mix it with water. Um, 
So far it's looking cool. You can see this is still drying. It dries to kind of like a chalky finish. Um, and then you can put some oil on it or just some wax or something to kind of spruce it up a bit. Um, so first coat on this one, we'll put a first coat on this one. Then I'll do at least two coats, maybe three coats um, on both of them. So here we go. So let's have an honesty moment here. Um, I screwed up every single one of my drawers for the tool cabinet, so um, I had to go back and buy another sheet of half inch ply to redo them all. So they are all trash. Um, the first one I just got excited and nailed it together and there is no groove for the bottom panel. So that one's trash. Um, and then I got smart, and I said, oh, I need to cut my grooves. So I cut all my grooves for the bottom, and I cut them on the wrong side of the side pieces. Because if you notice, this is supposed to fit on the runner on the side of the cabinet. And so my groove would need to be on the inside to hold the panel. So I cut all of them that way, 
so they are all trash. Luckily, um, the rear pieces can still be used because those you can flip whichever way, it doesn't matter. So, um, the rear pieces are still okay. So I just have to recut the sides and cut the grooves for the drawer slides and then groove for the bottom and hopefully cut it on the right side this time. So, that's what happened. I worked on a different project yesterday. I built a little work table um, video that you saw. So, um, yeah, you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta, okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Just gotta go to a different project, get a simple win, and boost your confidence back up. So, we're gonna get cracking on these drawers again, so here we go. present time. <laughs> uh, the video that you're watching right now is a few months old. Um, since I made this tool cabinet, um, I've been using it, you know, every time I'm out here in the shop. And so this is going to kind of be the final conclusion because I realized I didn't show the whole entire tool cabinet full of tools at the end of the video. So I'm going to do that and then just kind of talk about um, stuff that I like and um, can't really think of much that I dislike, but um, we'll just kind of go through it. So I have been using this tool cabinet like I said for a few months now and I absolutely love it. It's been awesome having a place that all my tools go and they're not strewn across the bench even though a lot of time they still are but um, all of them have a place in here pretty much um, and so it's nice that I know where everything is and they're protected and not left out. Um, so let's open it up. This is the current uh, setup of tools that I have in here. So my saws and layout go over here. I do have a lot more room up here as I add saws right now. I've only got these two Japanese style saws. I uh, made this little thing for my squares here. A little thing to hold my dividers. Um, made this little drill bit uh, holder. Um, and then I normally set my little small tape right in here. Um, my marking gauge goes in here, but I have that set currently for a project that I'm doing, so. And then up here I put my number six plane. It's actually sitting 
on top of my strop. I leave my strop up here. Um, so that's sitting up there. Number five right here, scraper plane. And then I just kind of lay some screwdrivers and stuff in here. Um, those don't really have a place, but there's nothing going right there anyway, so it works fine. Um, these are the tools that I use most right here, my number four, um, my different block planes, my router plane. Actually, I actually don't use that much, but it fits there well. <laughs> um, some kind of miscellaneous chisels that I don't have a place for. Uh, my card scraper burnisher, I just leave kind of sitting in here. Um, and over here on this side, I hang up a couple of my hammers over here. I have this little Japanese style hammer that I got recently that I really like. Um, chisels, of course, carving tools, um, card scrapers, marking knife, and carving knife. So the cutting chisel type tools go over here. The saws and marking tools are on the other door. Um, and in this drawer, I keep um, my precision measuring tools. I have this micrometer, another micrometer that I took to work, my calipers, and uh, a dial indicator that kind of stay in here. I don't use them super often, but they have a place here. Um, this is where I keep my router bits. So all my router bits and stuff are in here. Um, this is my sharpening drawer. I keep my uh, honing guide in here and my uh, compound for the strop stays in there as well. So normally I'll put my sharpening stones in there as well so that everything sharpening is in this drawer. And whenever I sharpen, I can just take the whole drawer out and carry it over to the bench, which is nice. Um, and then the bottom drawer is where I keep all my screws. So all the screws are in there. Real nice. Um, like I said, this has been an awesome cabinet. Um, I've really enjoyed using it. It's been very efficient and effective. Um, I haven't had to screw around with making any kind of fancy stuff. I like the shelves in here instead of little individual places for every tool. It just works better for me. It's easy just to set them up in there. Don't have to worry about anything. So. Yeah, it's been awesome, and now you can see how I laid everything out in there. Um, so that will be the conclusion of the video. Thank you all uh, so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me build this tool cabinet. Um, super easy, not too expensive, buying plywood, um, and it's been awesome. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed, and have a great day.